when talking about the word called as cloud security the first and the foremost point we have to keep in mind is that why do we have to basically talk specifically about cloud security now let's suppose that we are working as a part of an organization okay we are working as a part of an organization now in every organization we have a you know enterprise security architecture right in every organization we have an enterprise security architecture when you talk about security when you say the word security what exactly is security doing in a company any idea team anyone so basically we have a this word called a security is common and they're everywhere right so what exactly this word security is going to do for us like for example let me let's say we have a data let's say we have a, a infrastructure let's say we have an application let's say we have a user whatever it is what exactly is what it going to protect so it is going to protect definitely your company's assets but how how they are doing it actually in three perspectives right confidentiality integrity and availability right so basically it's going to protect your data in three perspectives one is basically the confidentiality one is basically the integrity and one is basically the availability so confidentiality is all about protecting your information from unauthorized access and disclosure right and uh, uh, to make sure that it's only applicable or accessible to personal and users and basically for a uh, privacy then what is the integrity team integrity means that I want to make sure whatever information I'm having is properly accurate and only be accessible to people who is authorized. Basically, it should not be modified or destroyed without any permission. And then we have a availability, right? Availability is talking about what team? Availability is talking about making sure that only authorized users can access the information like basically like and we have to make sure that authorized users should be able to access the information on time. That means that so I am a person who is supposed to access the information. I should be able to get those particular information whenever I need. Right. I should not have any kind of a downtime. I should not have any kind of issue. I, the information should be consistently and readily available to the authorized users. Right. So basically, this is the three main, you know, pillars when talking about securing something or bringing the security right. So in that perspective, one point we have to keep in mind is that what is the difference between this and cloud security? Nothing. When you basically go to cloud and when you basically go to on premises, this is the same three pillars you have to protect. But the only difference I will say is that when you're moving to the cloud platform, there is a lot more differences than the way you're doing it in a legacy manner for example the way you're like for example if you have an on-premises data center if you have an on-premises server if you have an on-premises database so you are protecting it using some particular means with complete control of you but at the same time if you try to pro if you basically go to a cloud platform if you go to a cloud service provider that information should be protected or that information is protected uh, based on your inputs but again, there is one major thing called as a shared responsibility model. That means there are certain activities which you are able to perform or you are able to decide and perform. But if you go to the uh, you know other side, it is visible or accessible to the cloud service providers. So you have a shared responsibility model. Second thing is that when you basically go to cloud computing, you heard about the word called as service models, right team? What is a service models? IaaS or PaaS or SaaS, right? Whenever you basically go Cloud platform we have something called as a IaaS or pass or SaaS. now tell me one thing when you basically go to this IaaS, pass and SaaS, which one is which one is basically giving more control to the customer and which one is giving least control to the customer obviously IaaS gives you more control right basically if i go for IaaS, IaaS gives you more control customer will get more control or cloud service customer will get more control and SaaS, if you go for customer will get the least control right right so in that perspective now as you don't have visibility or control the levels of control vary the legacy security mechanisms or the, the way you are managing it in a legacy manner may not work as expected when you go to a cloud platform like for example now uh, like uh, let's say one company is let's say my organization is now planning to move to a cloud platform so they have a so this company will have a lot of uh, you know governance mechanisms like policies procedures guidelines this company may have firewalls access control dlp sim solution monitoring tools they have a uh, hundreds of stuff there 
but when it comes to the cloud platform can i apply all these things will i be able to do it as the way i am doing it in the on premises can i take these existing security controls and go take it to the cloud platform so all these things may be a serious challenge or most of the cases will be a serious challenge for most of the organizations that's the reason why we should basically think more in detail about cloud security for example let's say obviously you don't you want to let's say you want to have a control over the underlying infrastructure but if you go to a cloud platform it is never possible for a customer to get the underlying control of a cloud service platform like the same way if i basically go to a saas platform or pass platform i can't install any applications or i can't install anything as per my wish i have to basically host things on a predefined platform if i go for a pass right so that's the reason why when you go for cloud security you have to add the cloud security specific challenges and the the certain tweaks or customizations you have to make from your existing security architecture when you go to the cloud platform the way the, like you have to add the cloud also to a specific set of policies you are making like the same way you have a information security policy or a security policy for the organization you have to make sure that cloud security policy is also added as a part of it when you are using a dlp solution when you are using a web application firewall when you are using a monitoring tool you should make sure that those tools when we are taking it to the cloud platform it is designed for the cloud platform it should work in the cloud platform like this you should basically be careful that's the reason why cloud security is a separate domain nowadays i still remember this use case when i when i started my journey in cloud i as per i remember i just started my journey in cloud it's in 2010 i started okay so before that i was working purely in security and open source like linux and all but i started my cloud journey in 2010 at that particular time the most prominent job role was a cloud engineer or a cloud architect nothing more like that was also very rare but at the, that the, the job role was like cloud engineer or cloud architect but later on if you average around 2015 i have seen there is many more companies are starting with the job roles called as cloud security architect cloud security engineer cloud security uh, manager cloud security expert cloud security professional like this there are hundreds of job roles coming in the cloud market team do you know why this hundreds of job roles are now coming in the cloud market on this the reason is because we have everything including our databases including our databases normal data applications servers nowadays ai models iot everything is finding the cloud as a better playground they are finding the cloud as a place where they can do things better in fact i wanted to add one more point here team because now uh, this is a common question i get a lot on linkedin nowadays krish will ai replace cloud that means so, so krish i have seen that there is a ai everywhere in the world so do you think this ai will replace the cloud so team my answer for that is now you are saying ai team what are the building blocks of ai can you give me some examples team any ai ai people here team what are the building blocks of ai what all things we need for ai data is a very important thing you should have a model like a ai model or machine learning model is there like it's an algorithm it's a kind of a code we are right writing right so model is required very much more compute you know analytical capabilities is required storage capacity is required performance is very important like this you have a lot of things so cloud is a better playground for providing all these things in a more cost effective manner by if you want to store your uh, various things like models data process analysis whatever it is the cloud provides you with the more easily manageable models or mod platforms across the different different data centers of the csp so that's the reason why now all these technologies build on top of the cloud computing build on top of the cloud platform like i gave you the example last time also in the last webinars as well team like if you are a person who manages kubernetes jenkins that whole devops or devsecops things you will know the pain how much is the effort for maintaining those kubernetes servers and clusters and pods and all right but if you go to the cloud platform you are getting all these things as a managed service so that means development the ides hosting platforms uh, applications websites uh, vms or we can say ai models machine learning models iot databases containers and everything is now switching to the cloud computing because cloud provides them with all these things that's a reason why as everything is going to the cloud platform 
the security concerns and challenges keep on rising that's the reason why cloud security is a very critical area we should address when you basically go for an organization that means whenever you are talking about security in your business you should also consider the cloud specific challenges as well